We are now approaching Gaelock Head. Please mind the gap when leaving the train. Here we are on our way to Dundell Fort and maybe Cow Hill. It's blue skies today, great visibility, and yeah, Fort William is stunning with so many hills and mumros. Wow. And the sun reflecting on the memories of the snow. Something. Hello everyone, here we are in Fort William and really it is so stunning, um, yeah it's a really clear day today so visibility is going to be amazing. And there's lots of snow. Lots of my mum rows are covered in snow. Today um going to do to walk to Dundeerdow. So I'm doing like a circuit and maybe Cow Hill as well. Um Fort William is obviously known for Ben Nevis, which is the highest mum row in the UK. I'm not doing that today, although I will I do plan on doing that at some point. So as I mentioned, the route that I'm doing is to Dundeerdow and maybe Cow Hill. Um, I have planned out my own route and that's something that I've been doing more of now, is looking at like where I want to go, looking at popular routes and then making my own trail. So I've um, started putting together some of my trails on OS Maps, which will be linked down below if you wanted to ever get any inspiration or try it out for yourself. So it should take me the route that I planned around five hours. And it's a beautiful day. It's 
such a beautiful day. It's really crisp and the blue skies make visibility really clear. Um, yeah, there's not many people around. Nice. Um, yeah, just taking it all in and taking my time. The route that I've done, that I've planned, um, isn't too strenuous, so it should be quite a pleasant day. So I've had to change my route slightly as there's a landslide. So I'm just making my way towards Cow Hill now. The higher I get, the more snow there seems to be. Blue skies, so lucky. Really am to have gotten this. Usually it's raining and overcast, so I'm really grateful. I'm a bit lost for words. I've never been in a place like this before. That's where we're going. We're going to Cow Hill Summit, which is this way. See, I've never been in a place like this before, to be honest. Um, completely lost for words. Beautiful. So the route up to Cow Hill to my right is Ben Nevis, which is absolutely huge, <laughs> stunning, and I do plan on doing that at some point later in, in the year. Wow. Look at those clouds.
I made it to the top. And here you can see all of Fort William. Wow. <laughs> what a place to live. Oh, I feel so grateful to be able to visit. So I made it to the top of Cow Hill. It's really quiet and peaceful. Yeah. I've been up here a little while now and um, just taking it all in. I'm really excited to um, explore more of the Mumros in Scotland and do my first one of those. And now I guess I'm going to go back down into Fort William town and grab a bite to eat. So today has been such a treat. <laughs> Uh, I took my way. I took myself. Um, I took myself um, away for my birthday. This is my birthday treat to myself. I'm really, really glad that I did. I'm staying. Um, I'm not camping because it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> it's like minus degrees, it's minus three or more in the evening. So anyway, I booked out a um, a hostel in um, Fort William, and it was great. I really recommend it. Um, it's called Fort William Backpackers, and basically, um, I had the you share a room with other people, but I had the place all to myself <laughs> because no one else was there. I guess because it's off season or whatever. But the people are really friendly. It's just a really nice atmosphere. Met some other people there. Um, yeah, it's been a really great experience and I'm still making my way down to Fort William at the moment.